Hello, I'm Christy with GreenLivingOffGrid.com and I want to welcome you to our video course on Cracky Hydroponics, where I'll be teaching you how to grow with hydroponics using simple Cracky method of growing, as well as teach you all kinds of ways to build off of that system to create different kinds of grow setups. Right now, I'm out here in my greenhouse where I have an aquaponic system which utilizes fish water to feed and nourish the plants in my aquaponic system. And in hydroponics it's very similar in that we are growing our plants utilizing a net pot with the roots of the plants coming down into our water reserve and the way Cracky works, just like the way I have it set up here in my aquaponics system, I have the water level set at just the right height to be able to provide a little bit of an air gap for my plants so that as they grow, they get enough oxygen with the water to be able to grow healthy in this system. So what we're going to be doing in our first series of video lessons I'm going to be teaching you how to drill out the net pot holes for your system. If you're going to be growing with a 10 gallon modular stacker tote, I recommend the 3 inch net pots. They fit nicely in the 10 gallon trays or in the 4 gallon, we'll be using the 2 inch net pots to be able to grow our plants in a 4 gallon tote. And I'll teach you exactly what nutrients you need to be able to start your plants and then how to set up your lighting and everything in the Cracky series of video lessons. And then in our second series of video lessons, I'll be teaching you how to turn your 10 gallon modular stacker Cracky system into a floating raft system. Like you see here, these are styrofoam rafts that I teach you how to drill out to be able to grow your plants. Now, if you're wanting to start seeds, this little one inch floating raft is perfect for that. You can just start a bunch of seeds for different plants that you're gonna be growing in your hydroponic systems with the one inch floating raft. It works perfect. It just, you put your little rock wall cube in it and then the water level is set right at the bottom of the tray so that it gives just enough water for the Rockwell Cube to say, stay damp, but not totally soaked, so it waterlogs your plant. It's a really great way to start your seeds in the one inch floating rafts. And then, with our one inch and two inch net pot, I have also different size drill bits. For example, with a three inch, net pots in a one inch raft, you have to go a lot smaller drill bit to be able to get the water level set just right to start your plants or to grow them to term. So I'll be talking about different size drill bits that you'll need in the one inch and in the two inch styrofoam rafts where we grow our plants in two inch net pots that either sit down to the bottom of the tray for starting seeds or they sit up a little bit. Again, it all depends on the size of your drill bit, where you want that net pot to sit in relation to the water, and also on the size of the styrofoam wrap you are starting with, whether one inch or two inch. So I'll be teaching you about that and what size drill bits to do whatever uh, grow you're trying to accomplish in your floating raft system in our second series of video lessons on the floating raft system. And then in our third series of lessons, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a microgreens garden out of your four gallon cracky tote. You'll remove the lid and I'll teach you exactly what you need to build a little raft 
system in the bottom to be able to start your microgreens and have a water reserve and a, a grow tray. And so your grow tray will sit on top of your water reserve so that you get just the right water ratio on your coco core as your base uh, grow media in the bottom of your tray. And then you can also put a clamp light on the side of the tray to provide just enough lamp for your plants to be able to put it anywhere in your house, whether a closet, or shelving unit, garage, a corner, wherever you want to grow your microgreens. So that's what we learned about in our third series of video lessons. So this is what's included in our modules of the Simple Hydroponics video course. As always, don't forget to click on the links to the helpful handouts, the PDF guides that give you a list of all of the materials you'll need to build your hydroponic systems. And then last but not least, at the end of our video series on Simple Hydroponics, we have a link to our hydroponics blog where we have a number of helpful videos giving you tips and tricks for growing different kinds of plants in your hydroponic systems. Thanks again for watching. Happy growing everyone and I'll see you next time.